Hi, welcome to this video on installing Windows Intune in under four minutes. So the first thing we're going to do is open Internet Explorer and then we're going to go to the uh, Intune website manage.microsoft.com where you can manage your Windows Intune uh, setup. Once we get there, obviously we're presented with the overview screen, but we'll go and have a look at uh, our computers and groups and we'll just see what's available in our infrastructure at the moment. Notice that Intune 2 is missing, 1 and 3 are the only machines there. Now we'll go down to administration and download the client. We'll take the 32 bit version in this case. Once the client's downloaded, we'll be presented with a UAC prompt just to uh, ensure that we really do want to install the software. Next, that software goes away and installs, and what's actually happening now is the uh, management uh, application for Windows Intune is installing. doesn't take very long at all and uh, the installation for Intune is actually partially complete now. Down in the bottom right hand corner in the notification area, if you keep your eyes focused there you'll notice that uh, in a couple of seconds something happens. And that something is actually Windows Update kicking in. So what's happened is the Intune management application is actually uh, told Windows Update to go and get some uh, additional things from Windows Intune which are then used specifically to enable easy access and uh, other features of Windows Intune. The interesting thing to note so far is that actually we haven't made any configuration changes to uh, the way that Windows Intune is going to install onto our uh, endpoint PC. Everything that we've done has literally just been click, click, click. We have not had to uh, download or customise the installation in any way. And we're almost there. Uh, what's going to happen in a second is that the uh, exclamation mark will actually turn into a green tick and we'll know that all the components have been pulled down. As you can see, the Windows Intune installation is zero configuration. And the reason for that is that a certificate is placed into each installation package which is unique for the particular Windows Intune account. When that endpoint then contacts the Intune Cloud service, everything is linked together automatically. 